feedback on what's changed. I'm needing to venture out further and further from where I live, and I'm also needing more sea time than ever to form a real opinion on a particular version. And by the time I have something to really say, a new version comes out and the process starts all over. And there is a reason why it's getting harder to summarize these new versions. As you probably know, but I'll briefly explain, a few months ago, Full Self Driving went through a significant transformation and had what I consider its chat GPT moment. All previous versions before it were manually programmed by humans with specific instructions for tasks like object recognition, stopping at stop signs and red lights, how to stay. In today's video, we're diving deep into a host of exhilarating developments from Tesla. We start with an in-depth look at the significant enhancements made to Tesla's full self-driving software, exploring how these advancements promise to revolutionize the autonomous driving landscape. We'll also discuss Tesla's strategic market expansions, particularly its foray into Europe and the potential impacts on global sales dynamics. We'll also delve into the competitive dynamics in the electric vehicle market, especially focusing on the tight race in China between Tesla's Model 3 and Xiaomi's C7, highlighting the nuances that could sway consumer decisions. Stay tuned as we break down these developments, providing insights into what they mean for Tesla's future and the broader electric vehicle industry. So buckle up and let's embark on this exciting journey into the world of Tesla. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more daily updates and in-depth analysis on all things Tesla. Let's get into the details. Tesla has recently unveiled an innovative promotional offer for its Model S and Model X vehicles in the US and Canada, signaling a strategic pivot in its marketing approach. For a one-time payment of $5,000, customers can acquire a comprehensive three-year bundle that encompasses free supercharging, full self-driving capabilities, and premium connectivity services. This enticing package not only presents considerable cost savings over the duration of the bundle, but also significantly enhances the overall ownership experience of Tesla's high-end models. The introduction of such a bundle represents a forward-thinking move by Tesla to integrate more of its cutting-edge technology into a single, attractive pricing model, making advanced features more accessible to a broader customer base. This strategy could serve to significantly boost the perceived value of Tesla's offerings, potentially leading to increased customer loyalty and higher sales volumes. Industry insiders and market analysts are closely watching this development, as it may set a new standard for how automotive technology packages are bundled and sold. There is growing anticipation that Tesla may extend similar bundling options to its more widely sold Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. If implemented, this could dramatically shift consumer expectations and demand across Tesla's entire vehicle lineup, encouraging a larger segment of the market to embrace electric vehicles equipped with advanced autonomous driving technologies. Such a move could not only reinforce Tesla's market leadership, but also accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles and autonomous driving technology industry-wide. James, a noted industry expert, has voiced skepticism about the impact of FSD's current market traction on this new strategy, suggesting that the move is designed to boost interest in auto margins for Tesla, rather than driven by existing demand for FSD. Moreover, the future could see Tesla integrating FSD with insurance services, potentially disrupting the industry by lowering insurance costs and improving safety. Financial analysts have crunched the numbers, revealing that customers who regularly use supercharging services could save between $10,000 and $15,000 over the life of the deal. However, for those who supercharge less frequently, the economics may not be as appealing unless Tesla opts to raise FSD subscription prices in the future, a move that would secure current pricing for early adopters of this deal. In other Tesla news, the company has removed the reservation requirement for its Cybertruck, signaling a shift in its sales approach following a viral video about the truck by Tucker. This change allows potential buyers to directly order from Tesla's online configurator, suggesting that initial reservations have been fulfilled and pointing to a new phase in Tesla's marketing and production strategies. This series of developments at Tesla indicates a strategic push to adapt to consumer habits and market conditions, possibly setting the stage for more such innovative offerings in the future. As Tesla tests these waters, particularly with its lower volume models, it's clear that the company continues to steer the direction of the electric vehicle market encouraging both longtime enthusiasts and new customers to embrace its technology-driven solutions. Tesla has recently extended invitations to residents of Canada and Mexico to configure their Foundation Series Cybertrucks, signaling that the company is nearing the end of its initial reservation list for these models. For Canadian enthusiasts eager to own a Cybertruck, they should brace for a hefty price tag. 
The luxury tax alone on these vehicles can reach an eye-watering $88,000, reflecting the significant financial commitment required to purchase such an innovative vehicle. In a move to ramp up interest, Tesla has also begun offering test drives of the Cybertruck to the general public in the United States, inviting potential buyers to experience what the company playfully calls a first date with the new model. Although many may take the wheel just for the thrill, this initiative is likely to convert a portion of test drivers into future Cybertruck owners. On the business front, Tesla is actively expanding its operations in Europe with plans to introduce the Tesla semi-truck to this market. The company is currently seeking a business development manager based in Europe to foster customer relationships and spearhead the deployment of the Tesla Semi. Initially, these trucks will be produced in the US and shipped to Europe, but plans are on the horizon to set up production directly in Europe, likely at Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin, to streamline operations and enhance distribution efficiency. Amidst these strategic expansions, Tesla has also been pulled into legal and corporate battles. Recently, Elon Musk and his company X initiated an antitrust lawsuit against the Global Alliance for Responsible Media. This move led to the alliance deciding to cease all operations due to financial constraints, a development that could free up Musk's time for more pressing business endeavors with Tesla. The defunct alliance is still under investigation for potential collusion aimed at demonetizing conservative media platforms, adding a layer of controversy and complexity to the situation. Such corporate and legal challenges highlight the multifaceted pressures and dynamics faced by Tesla and Elon Musk's empire, as they navigate both rapid innovation and the intricate web of global business relations. In an exciting development for Tesla enthusiasts, a recent article in Barron's highlights significant improvements in Tesla's full self-driving software, version 12.5. After a week of rigorous testing and over 1,000 miles on the road, the reviewer reported fewer interventions and an increase in completely autonomous drives. This enhanced performance underscores Elon Musk's assertion that the latest FSD update represents a significant leap forward in autonomous driving technology. As Tesla continues to refine its FSD capabilities, discussions about the semi-truck's expansion into Europe have also gained momentum. Graham Carroll, head of Tesla's semi-business development in the US, confirmed plans to bring the electric truck to European markets, indicating serious intentions towards establishing a production facility in Europe to streamline this expansion. Simultaneously, Tesla's Gigafactory Texas is reportedly ramping up production of the Cybertruck, potentially in response to the new policy allowing orders without prior reservations. Speculation abounds whether these are standard or foundation series models, as closer inspection remains challenging. In another strategic move, Tesla has introduced a new Quicksilver color option for the Model 3 in the US, priced at an additional $2,000, with availability extending to Canada. However, there seems to be a variation between the US and European versions of this new color, sparking curiosity and anticipation for the upcoming FSD update. Meanwhile, Tesla is actively addressing the issue of the luxury tax applied to the Cybertruck in Canada. With the vehicle's weight exceeding the 80,500 Talbum Siem threshold set by the government, Tesla is optimistic about the tax's imminent removal, which would make the Cybertruck more financially accessible to Canadian customers. On the technical front, the latest FSD version is making waves among Tesla investors and enthusiasts. Crowdsourced data suggests that while the current rate of interventions has improved, achieving completely unsupervised FSD still requires significant advancements. With companies like Waymo and Cruise leading in disengagement metrics, Tesla's journey towards a fully autonomous future continues to be a closely monitored and hotly debated topic in the automotive and tech industries. And with more of the latest updates concerning Tesla's full self-driving software, version 12.5 has shown notable improvements in functionality and reliability. Data from FSD Tracker reveals that the miles to critical disengagement in city conditions have increased from 125 miles in version 12.3 to 153 miles in version 12.5. While the overall number of interventions has risen with the expansion of the dataset, the software's smoothness and handling in no intervention drives have significantly improved, maintaining a high performance level. This evolution in FSD's capabilities might be attributed to increased testing across diverse geographical areas and under various conditions, which has likely provided Tesla with richer data to refine its technology. Moreover, with more users testing the system in challenging routes in adverse weather, the real-world applicability and robustness of FSD are being rigorously evaluated. Observers have noted an improvement in lane selection and general vehicle handling with the latest FSD version, suggesting that Tesla's continuous updates are making tangible enhancements to driving safety and comfort. 
This progression supports the hypothesis that while raw disengagement figures may not fully capture the qualitative leaps made, user experiences reflect a substantial advancement in FSD technology. In other news, the competition in the electric vehicle EV market is heating up with Xiaomi's C7 model, which debuted in April and has sold 43,000 units by July, closely trailing Tesla's Model 3, which sold 48,000 units in the same period. The C7's appeal in the Chinese market is partly due to its luxurious interior features, which contrast with Tesla's minimalist design, indicating divergent consumer preferences in different regions. As Tesla ramps up production at its Shanghai Gigafactory, aiming for robust sales in August, the company also faces challenges in the US market, where political factors have influenced consumer sentiments towards EVs. Additionally, the movement of talent from Tesla to XI, particularly in AI development, has sparked shareholder concerns regarding potential conflicts of interest and the strategic direction of Tesla's investments in AI technologies. These developments are crucial as Tesla navigates the intricate dynamics of global markets, technological advancements, and corporate governance, continuing to influence industry trends and consumer choices. As Tesla enthusiasts and investors watch these developments unfold, the broader implications for the EV market and technological innovation in autonomous driving remain a focal point of discussion and anticipation. As we wrap up today's coverage on Tesla, we've delved into a multitude of significant updates. From the advancements in Tesla's full self-driving software, showing promising improvements in safety and reliability, to Tesla's strategic expansions in Europe and the introduction of new models and colors in the US and Canada. We also touched on the competitive dynamics in the Chinese market, highlighting the close sales battle between Tesla's Model 3 and Xiaomi's C7. How do you think the improvements in FSD software will impact Tesla's market position in the autonomous driving sector? With the ongoing developments and expansions, what could be the next big market for Tesla? How significant are the internal shifts and talent migrations to Tesla's long-term innovation strategy? We'd love to hear your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Tesla Stock News for more daily updates and in-depth analysis on all things Tesla. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.